What up my awesome viewers, Rio Gion here and honestly when I really think about it I think the LG V20 is the last true enthusiast phone so we got the headphone jack uh, right there yeah. we got a USB-C port if the camera ever focus one day eventually anyways we have an IR blaster so you can use this thing as a remote we have micro USB support here you go here's the sweet 512 gigs of blurriness come on camera come on oh well <laughs> there you go yeah we have the 512 gigs of Awesome micro SD goodness. We have replaceable battery, which, as you can tell, these are aftermarket. Hopefully, I got the one that's charged because I know one of them was not charged. And of course, links are in the description down below. We have a metal backplate. That's removable. And it's on. And this is a battery charger. So the way how it's, it's charging the battery is really weird. So see how there's these two little pins? So you're supposed to line them up with the plus and minus signs that are on the battery. So. If this is your first time doing it, and if you're anything like me, yeah, this probably is. This is the best way to do this. So kind of slide it out like that, and then kind of line them up towards the, towards the plus sign, and then towards the minus sign, and stick them up. And then you see how there's that, that light? Yeah. So that's how you know that it's working. And then... You can charge it. There's a thing that pulls out, so then you can charge it. Yeah. This thing also works as a regular charger, so you can plug stuff on the USB and it will charge. There you go. 800 milliamp to 1300 milliamp. It's pretty freaking sweet. There you go. That's probably the, that's probably the safest way to do it, probably. Yep. Then of course, you gotta have the the sweet controller that goes with this and turns your stuff into a Game Boy. And the fingerprint scanner doesn't work sometimes. I not sure whether or not this is charged or not charged. But yes, uh so, a lot of the emulators here, I would say, don't do the hardcore one because I actually tried the Acer SX2 uh, time splitters that did not work. I can all I can always try more games where you guys find out. Uh, besides that, a lot of the Dolphin stuff, I don't think those work as well. Yeah, let me see. Oh, did it get the... Nope, it, it did not got sculpted storage because of... It did not have the higher RAM. Which is nice. GameCube ROMs. Select. Yep. A lot of the stuff of the... A lot of the 3D stuff, it, it cannot run. I'm just going to be honest with you. It cannot run a lot of the 3D stuff. I mean, the... the, 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 the <laughs> Technically, kind of the same thing can be said with the with the fold. I mean, like a, a decent number of GameCube stuff can't really run on the fold that well. That well, it, it still can run, but it's not well. Like this one, it just can't even run. So, there's that's the case. So I I wouldn't recommend you doing some of the hardcore stuff. But 
Uh, let's face it, I, I think this phone is probably like 100, 200 bucks. So if you're like those kind of guys that likes those old timey uh, handhelds, you can always consider one of these things. And it's a phone too. So you can always fit them like this and then you can play your video games, play a lot of sweet arcade games. Arcade games work very very well here because arcade games are 2D and it don't take a lot of memory, they don't take a lot of power henceforth they run very well Ah, oh, that takes me back that sound, that sound is so sweet So you can definitely do arcade stuff, you can do PS1 stuff. Uh, P PS1 is technically 3D, but it's like, it's an easier running 3D, so. It's not going to be that taxing on this phone, it can run it. Uh, I, I would love it if it failed, so that, you know, I, I would be wrong on camera. <laughs> I love being wrong on camera. Alright, yep, so. Play Bloody Roar. Hopefully the controller works. Unless I have to set it up. If I do, then I have to set it up. But hopefully I don't. So I can show it to you guys of how awesome this V20 is. And how it's a very good portable Game Boy Bloody Roar older game things. emulator. Fuck mode. Yep, so sweet stuff. And yeah, I would say PS1, anything up to PS1 should be pretty freaking good on this thing. Uh, so, of course, Game Boy, the meme stuff. Uh, those those are those are okay, and SNES is good. Uh, PSP is kind of a mixed bag, based on my experience. Uh, sometimes it's okay, uh, other times it's it's not it's it's just not gonna run well. So it's kind of a mixed bag with PSP because PSP is also 3D. I think it's one of the stronger ones in 3D compared to this particular phone. Uh, it's, Oh, let's play God of War. You know, people love play testing God of War, so uh, I will satisfy the craving of God of War play test. Oh, new game. I don't think I have anything in there. They're actually doing surprisingly well being sped up like this. I'm very surprised. I, I thought it would like crap out when it's being sped up like this, but it's, it's actually not. Huh. It's, it's surprisingly playable. <laughs> it is surprisingly playable. <laughs> Interesting. Well, yeah, so this is one of the more demanding PSP games and it's su surprisingly playable. So, that's actually pretty freaking cool. Richard, fire! Rawr.
Uh, there's there's some slowdown, so it's not it's not perfect, but there is some slowdown. But yeah, overall, I think it's it's a great true enthusiast phone, the last of its kind kind of thing with micro SD headphone jack. It has a quad deck too. It's pretty good. Uh, the camera is pretty bad in today's standards, I would say. Uh, back then, it's fine. Way back then, it's fine. But nowadays, yeah, it's, it's pretty subpar. But, you know, it's still usable. I'm pretty sure with Instagram filters, nobody really cares. So, there's that. Uh, the back, the back camera, I think the back camera is pretty bad. Yeah, the back camera is pretty bad, like, you can't even see my face. But then again, there's a giant light that's behind me to run everything through, so that hopefully I have better lighting. So, and there's that. But yeah, overall, I say, uh, oh, battery life. Battery life is not the best. This thing overheats a lot, by the way, so... Uh, be, be prepared to re to re always have a second battery to replace it because there is no faster charging time than you turning off the phone, pulling out the back and replacing a battery because this is instantaneous speed almost compared to the, the world of Super Omega Fast Vuk Dash Super Hash Bitcoin Charging it, it, it doesn't match this I don't think this, this is the charge battery So I don't think the phone will turn on Oh Maybe there's some juice left So yeah There's that It's also a very thin like phone So comparing uh if you're someone like me that has this chunky boy folding phone here, yeah, this this is a breath of fresh air. But yep, uh, this is actually, uh, believe it or not, this is like the camera phone that I use for a lot of the older videos that you see on the channel. Uh, I base it off of this particular phone, so, yeah. There we go, cool. Yeah, so, I say this is still a pretty decent phone for those of you that just uh, want to have a travel phone, because I know that later on, they're going to get rid of the e the SIM the SIM cards, so you're gonna to have to use eSIM because Apple is of course going to have eSIM. So Samsung is going to make fun of it, and then very very soon follow up and do the same thing, and then everybody else is gonna do the same thing. So yeah, these phones like these with replaceable battery, micro SD headphone jack, and a SIM card is now a feature. Yeah, these. These are truly the last true enthusiast phones. It's kind of sad actually. It's, it's actually very sad because this replaceable battery, actually both of these replaceable battery along with the charger cost me $25 to do the whole entire set of these batteries. I don't know how much it will cost to replace a battery on a Fold 3. I uh, Hundreds, I'm going to say. Probably, no, hundreds, probably like the most. But, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much life of the, of the modern phones now. So with these old enthusiast phones. I just love, I really love the fact that I'm holding a phone battery that can easily just replace into the phone and I'm good to go like I love that fact like that's so freaking nice you know this 
I wish we can't go back, but we cannot go back. So, yeah, that's it's very, very sad. But not nothing we can do about this. Uh, technology has to advance, and technology has to take away stuff from us because they gotta make the moolah. Oh well, that's pretty much it. Everything links will be down in the description for all of the things you see here, including this. If you wanna spend some money getting this chunky folding phone, yep. That's pretty much it. You guys like the video? Like, subscribe, comment, the bell, local support down below as well. You guys, stay awesome.